I'm starting off this look with this Ardell pomade in dark brown. I ran into it at the drugstore the other day and I decided to give it a try since it did state that it was a pomade and I really, really love my Anastasia pomade. So I gave it a try and I actually really liked it. So applying that onto my brows in order to get this look started. I always start off with my brows. And then moving on to this L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer, which is a brow pencil, also from the drugstore, also new that I've never used before. And I like this too, so I really enjoyed this combination of the Ardell pomade and the L'Oreal pencil. It works exactly the same as my Anastasia stuff. Now to get started with the eye, I am simply covering up the strong natural pigment on my eyes and I'm also priming and so doing both in one by using my MAC pomade in the color Soft Ochre, just applying a thin layer of that onto my entire lid. Then simply setting the pomade in place with my NARS pressed powder and I'm in the color Mountain. I do this not only to set the pomade in place, but also because it will really help me with blending. Using this Maybelline Quad in the color Chai Latte, I'm starting off by packing the color for the crease onto my Sigma E40, which is a big blending brush, grabbing that color and simply dragging it back and forth along my crease area. Since it is a big brush, it is going to also work as my transition shade, so it'll go right above the crease. And I'm mostly concentrating the color on the outer portion and then dragging whatever's left of the product into the inner portion of my crease. Making sure that I am swirling and also doing windshield wiping motions. I feel like this gives me the most blended out crease. Using my Sigma E35, which is just a smaller, more precise blending brush and the color labeled for liner, I'm packing that onto the brush and then starting on the outer half or the outer corner of my crease, dragging that product onto my crease and also building it up along the outer V. So just like with before, I'm applying the product mainly on the outer V and then whatever is left on the brush after applying it initially, that's what I'm dragging into my crease. After spraying my E55 from Sigma, which is a small shading brush with some MAC Fix Plus, I'm grabbing the color labeled for the lid and I'm packing that onto my lid, making sure that I stop right at the outer V or right before the outer V and right along the crease. Like right, right before you get to the crease, that's where you're gonna stop because I didn't want to hide the like chocolate color that I had going on on the crease. I wanted that still to show. So I didn't wanna cover it completely. So I made sure that I stopped right underneath my crease so that I wouldn't hide that and of course stopped, like I said, on the outer V. Then going in with a clean blending brush in order to blend away any harsh lines that were left in between the lid color and the crease color. Next using my Sigma 06, which is a tiny little liner brush and my Ulta Black Gel Liner. I'm going to be applying a pretty elongated wing onto my eyes. Taking a break from the eyes and starting onto the face. As always, I'm applying my color corrector before I do my foundation. And this is my Becca Brightening Corrector. For foundation today, I am using the Infallible Pro Match from L'Oreal and my Estee Lauder Double Wear Light. The Infallible is in the color Natural Beige and my Double Wear is in 3.5. Now I mixed the two because my Double Wear is a little too dark for now. I bought it during the summer and so I was lightly more tan than I am now. 
and so it doesn't match me anymore at the, or it doesn't at the moment and the infallible that i bought is a little too light for me that's why i kind of don't like to buy drugstore foundations not because they're bad foundations because they're amazing foundations but it's just really hard for me in particular to match myself i don't know why i just find it so difficult and so instead of just returning it i decided to mix it i figured they're both matte formulas and i actually really enjoyed how they made my skin look for the rest of the day and how it felt how it wore it was actually a really good combination so just applying that all over the face using my damp beauty blender for concealer today i am using my mac mineralized concealer and this is in the color nc35 and then of course blending using my damp beauty blender before setting with the laura mercier brightening powder under the eye for contour today, I'm using the Hoola Benefit Bronzer and I'm applying it using my Beauty Blender and then flipping my Beauty Blender over and just blending it out a little bit just for a more natural finish. For highlight today, I'm using Hourglass Lighting Powder in Luminous Light and simply applying it using my ring finger onto the tops of my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, and of course the cupid's bow area. Using my Luxie Angled Brush and Clinique's uh, Cheek Pop, Blush Pop, I guess, in the color Ginger Pop, I'm applying that on to my cheeks, but I'm kind of skipping the apples of my cheeks. I didn't want to create too much of a rosy effect too close to my lips since I was going to be wearing a red, red lip. Going back to the eyes, using my Sigma E30 and the base color from the quad, I'm popping that onto the inner corners of my eyes and also applying that onto the brow bones. Then going back to finish up the eyes, I popped on some MAC Smolder Eyeliner onto my waterline. Then grabbed a flat definer brush, this is my Sigma E15 and the liner color from the quad and applied that onto my lash line but I didn't go all the way into my inner corner. I kind of left a little bit of a gap between the inner corner and the lower lash line or where I placed the color on the lower lash line. Then went back with my pencil brush and grabbed the crease color in order to blend out my lash line. For mascara, I'm using the L'Oreal Double Extend Mascara. This is a two-in-one, so one side, the white side, is a primer, and then the red side is the actual like extending formula mascara. I really liked it. It did extend my lashes, which I was pleasantly surprised by. However, it, as far as volume, it really doesn't give you any, so I would highly recommend that if you're going to try this one out and you're looking for not only extended lashes but also also but also um some volume on your lashes you may want to add something a little bit different so maybe use this one and then the voluminous mascara which is also from l'oreal and i really really like that one for giving a lot of volume but it doesn't extend like this one so maybe if you use them as a combo you might get a perfect pair but it's no use since I was going to be wearing a red lip, I decided that a liner was a must to keep anything from bleeding. This one is from Laura Mercier in the color True Red. And then applying the new Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid, I guess lipstick is what it is. And this is in the color Rebel Red, which I fell in love with the color as soon as I saw it. And this whole look is literally based around this lip color. And that is it, that completes the look. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly hope that you enjoyed this look as much as I always enjoy making these for you. As always, take care and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.